Hyper-observant people don't need to have chameleon-like eyes to notice the world around them. They're just like us, except for a few major differences in perspective. We can get so caught up in our day-to-day -day that we forget to notice the fascinating world around us. At least fascinating to those that are paying attention. The observant ones see the world not only as a place to live in, but something to study and learn from. How people walk, their tone of voice, how cities are planned, why institutions follow certain systems. To the common person, these are everyday minutia. There's nothing special about them, but hyper-observant people can't help but stop, stare and wonder. Learn these seven ways to help you see the world through their eyes. Number one, they always ask why. Someone can't be naturally observant if they aren't naturally curious. That means that a hyper-observant person spends much of their time simply trying to understand why the world is the way it is. Why don't Americans and Europeans drive on the same side of the road? Why can dogs recognize other dogs even though they look different? Why is the alphabet arranged that way? Why is the sky blue? Though they may sound like silly little questions, these are some of the things that only hyper-observant people notice and spend time wondering about. No matter how hard they may try, their thirst for understanding will never be quenched. Number two, they actively listen to what someone says and isn't saying. A hyper-observant person can read between the lines and hear the unspoken words. It isn't anything mystical. They can just notice when something's being omitted from someone's speech. When someone is venting to them about a seemingly small problem that they're having at work, others might see it as them simply being petty. But a hyper-observant person would notice that it isn't actually about the work at all. It's too small to be such a big deal. It might actually be about how their relationship is falling apart and that they're stressed about it. Number three, they notice patterns. The world is made up of patterns. There's a water cycle that causes the rain. There are also patterns in human behavior that form habits and trends. Noticing these patterns can be powerful because it allows someone to prepare and predict the future. Being aware of patterns and trends is what allows businesses to get in front of their competitors. That's why advertising agencies, who are filled with people trained to be observant on the latest trends, are always on the lookout for the next big thing. If they're able to get on a trend before anyone else, that will mean success for the brand. Being observant like this is a great quality to have. But what else makes you unique and exceptional? To help you find the answer, we've created a fun quiz that I've linked to in the description below. Answer a few personal questions and we'll reveal what your personality superpower is and how you can utilize it to live your very best life. Check out our revealing new quiz in the description below. Number four, they're mindful of their environment. Think of a hyper observant person like a scout, someone that's able to scan their surroundings with accuracy and detail. A hyper observant person is able to remember landmarks and directions better than others, making them aces in navigation. Having a good sense of direction helps them navigate their way around the city that they've never been to. It can also be helpful in simpler ways. Ever forgot where you parked your car at a sold out event or a large mall? Being hyper observant guarantees that you'll never forget where you parked because you'll have noticed the area where your car is. Number five, they're analytical. To analyze something is to notice even the most minute details. When a hyper-observant person watches a movie, they're able to notice the subtleties in the director's artistic choices. They can spot the plot twist a mile away, all because of a minor detail the character may have said in passing. They can also break down the meaning and themes of the film to truly understand what the director was going for. Number six, they can read emotions. People often don't walk around with a sign that says what emotion they're feeling. This is what makes it difficult to talk to someone who, on the inside, is actually frustrated and angry with us. We may not catch on, but the hyper-observant person will. They'll notice that the stern tone of voice someone has with us, or that they refuse to look us in the eye. Reading emotions is what allows hyper-observant people to build lasting relationships with other people. They can determine not only what's the best thing to say in a given moment, but also when and how to say it. Number seven, they are quiet at first. When we enter someone's home for the first time for a party, it can be a dazzling experience. There's an entire story told about the host within each decoration and furniture choice. While others might go straight for the drinks and meeting people, a hyper-observant person takes their time. It's why hyper-observant people are quiet at first. They give themselves a moment to process their surroundings and notice the people in attendance. 